Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Adventures of Tardy Penis. Me and Serana just having a, a nice little sit by the fireside. Uh, very nice and quaint, like an old married couple. So cute. But today, we are going to return the slab. No, the key. Um, I don't know if anybody's seen that Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. Scared the sh out of me when I was a kid, honestly. <laughs> But, let's see, the journal says we need to enter the Twilight Sepulchre, and that was where exactly? Over here. I'm dumb. Oh, it's all the way over here. How have we not been there? I thought that one place was it. Oh, well. We're just gonna go to this one and make our way up the mountain, it seems. Okay, here we are. Now we need to just head west. Is it up the mountain? Is it beside the mountain? Let's check, check a look. Uh, looks like it's on the side of the mountain. Should just be an easy, easy walk around this hill to get there. Which I'm actually going to wait until daytime because nighttime is the epitome of video compression. What the hell is going on? Okay, that took way too long. All right, nice and shiny everything is. Honeycomb added. Plus I got a book. Okay. Oh no, please don't crash. I am so sick of crashing. <laughs> Last episode really took its toll on me because it takes like 10 minutes to get back into the game. And you know, when you're sitting there trying to record for an hour and it only, t it takes 10 minutes of that time is just waiting. Oh, God. Speaking of... Whew, God. Every time. Yo, what the fuck? I thought that was blood in the water. That's a nice stream. Very pretty. And here we are. Let's head in. Here we are. Speak to the Nightingale Sentinel. Ah, ghosty ghosts. Hold on one second, I saw the little tink tink, tink 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 tink. Okay, I'm done. And archaeology is level 50. Nice. I don't recognize you, but I sense that you're one of us. Who are you? I am Tarty Penis. I'd like to ask you the same question. The last of the Nightingale Sentinels, I'm afraid. I've defended the sepulchre alone for what seems like an eternity. The last? What happened to the rest? We were betrayed by one of our own kind. In fact, I'm to blame for what's happened here. How are you to blame? I was blinded. Blinded by dark treachery masquerading as friendship. Perhaps if I had been more vigilant, then Mercer Frey wouldn't have lured me to my fate and stolen the skeleton key. Ah. Oh. Wait a minute, you're Gallus. Oh, shit. I haven't heard that name in a long time. It's only been like 20 How years. Do you know of me? I have the key. The key? You have the skeleton key. I never thought I'd see it again. And Mercer Frey? Dead. Then it's over, and my death wasn't in vain. I owe you a great deal, Nightingale. I did this for the honor of the Guild. You've done the Guild a great deal. And although they may not show it, I'm certain they appreciate your sacrifices. My only regret is that you had to undertake this task alone. I wasn't alone. Carlia helped me. Carlia? She's still alive? I feared she'd befallen the same fate, ending up a victim of Mercer's betrayal. Then take the key and right all the wrongs. Nothing would bring me more pride than to return the key, but I'm afraid it's impossible. From the moment I arrived here, I felt myself, well, dying. Huh, I wonder why. That's so weird, huh? <laughs> How can you, can our spirit die? The sepulchre isn't merely a temple or a vault to house the key. 
Within these walls is the Ebonair, a conduit to Nocturnal's realm of Everglow. When Mercer stole the key, that conduit closed, severely limiting our ties to her. Then I'll have to proceed alone. I'm afraid so. I'm weakening, and I can feel myself slipping away. The years without restoration of my power have taken their toll. Whatever damage has been caused can only be corrected by following the Pilgrim's path to the Ebonair and replacing the key. That's what I'm here for. How does the Ebonair affect all of us? The Ebonair is a conduit through which nocturnal influences our world. Not through magic or blessings, but purely through luck. Luck is meaningless. <laughs> what? What we do involves skill. Yes, absolutely. Your skill is your own. Don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. But Nocturnal, she influences our luck. Nearly imperceptible assistance we get when we ply our trade. How's that changing the way things are? Think about the guild. About the state it was in when you began. Think about all the little things you might have heard. A pick breaking when it shouldn't have. The clouds in the nighttime sky clearing at the wrong moment. Our access to those bits of luck are what separates us from common bandits. So on the so with the Ebonir closed, our lucks run dry? Precisely. There are a few who still call nocturnal Lady Luck, and for good reason. Uh, what's wrong with the other Nightingale Sentinels? With the Ebonair closed, and their sudden severance from the realm of Everglow, I fear they've undergone a drastic change. Uh-oh, am I gonna have their to fight them? They're shadows em? of their former selves. They no longer remember their true purpose, or their original identities. Why aren't you like them? My spirit didn't manifest itself in the Sepulchre immediately. So, fortunately, I wasn't present when the Ebonmere was sealed. However, ever since that day, I've felt my power waning, slowly draining away. Can't you just take the key? Whatever is affecting the Nightingale Sentinels is starting to affect me, too. As I get closer to the Ebonmere, I begin to feel myself slipping away. Even right this moment, I feel strange when I don't think I should be feeling anything at all. Huh. Uh, what will I face in the Pilgrim's Path? I wish I could help you, but I've been a prisoner in this very chamber for the last quarter century. The only possible help I've come across are the remains of some poor fellow who is trying to follow in your footsteps. Perhaps his journal can help? Okay. Good luck, Nightingale. Thank you. Oh, is his journal over here? In this random corner? Ooh, look at that. Jesus Christ, calm down. Lock picks. Take that. Amber. Need that for the museum. Let's check out this axe. It was Orcish War Axe of Expelling. Summon Daedra up to level 30 or sent back to Oblivion. That's sick. I don't think we'll be using it though. All right, into the Pilgrim's Path we go. Uh, I thought that was a jewel, but it's a skeever tail. So what does this path entail? Iron door. Okay. Hello. Death comes for you now. Ow. You bitch. Shall... You can never truly stop me. Eternal slum awaits. Oh god damn, right in my cheek. Okay, round two. 
Hello, everyone. One down. Two down. Anyone else? Don't think so. Cool. Take a look around, shall we? Nothing really there. I guess I fucking knocked everything off the table. I thought that was a gold bar. Nope. Nothing. Oh, silver ingot. That's cool. Just elven arrows on your corpse. Okay. That's it. That's all they have is just arrows. I didn't even check this guy up here. Yep. Just elven arrows. Let's see. It's this room over here. Looks like it's got a bit of stuff. Doesn't look like anything too appealing. Just a bloody ass skull. Okay. Well, I'm definitely going to save after that. Because I meant to beforehand. Just in case I died again. Welcome to my TED Talk, everyone. Just kidding. Goodbye. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, fuck. Okay. Cool. Now I have to look out for pressure plates, because I just tripped that one and it sucked. Yo, this place is huge. There's a dead guy. Ow, ow, what am I dying from? What am I dying from? Why am I dying? That was stupid of me. I thought I could get in there and look before it took me. Okay, so what's the secret to this place? Do I have to go up here? Will this help me? Nope, still dying. Don't know why. Odd. Oh, that still takes way too long. I don't understand what's killing me. can't get up there. Do I just run for it? Whoa, okay. Okay, weird. Okay. <laughs> Fuck it. The trip wires every fucking time they get me, dude, and it's it's never not funny. Okay. I don't understand the puzzle. Okay. That time the trip wire actually just saved my life. There's another one. Cool. I think I can make it to that door now. Let me save before I die again. <laughs> Just to make sure. And then... Yeet. All right. Who else is home? No one? I'll take all that. Thank you. That thing's definitely going to come to life, ain't it? Or maybe not. He's just a dead man. Bandit mage. Okay, how did he die? Was it from taking these? Okay, there's clearly an open path here. I'm not too sure what I'm looking for. Huh. 
wooden plate. Is there anything under the wooden plate? Doesn't seem like it. Weird, is there something that I missed in the last room? This is awkward. Doesn't look like it. Oh, I'm dying again. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Give me one second to figure it out. Okay, maybe this chain will do the trick. Let me see here. Okay, maybe there's one on the other side too. Oh yeah. Just got to look around for a bit. That's all you got to do, baby. These guys ain't nothing. They're trash. Well, shit. What do you do? Master lock? Oh, I forgot I had the skeleton. Of course. It's easy. God damn it. Oh, hello. Oh, there's another one over there. Knock her down. Okay, cool. Well, got some arrows and look for some stuff down here. Anything? Sacred writings? A witness. Sacred witness. Ooh. Some gold. Anything here? Some brass salts. Nothing there. Just some potions. And some poisons. And a bow. Proper lock design. And construction. Okay. Some alcohol. Ooh, a ruby. Cool. Ooh, some burn books. Always need to burn books. Poison. Coin purse. That definitely looks like an Indiana Jones kind of situation, like a pressure plate. That did not... Like, I should have saved before that. But I'm actually going to save now. Okay. So... Into deeper we go. Where the fuck even am I? Oh, that's the door I came in. Is there a door right here? No? We go this way then. Oh, did that just bypass the... I think that just bypassed that big thing. Big swinging thing. Into the inner sanctum we go. Okay. Super cool banner. It really looks like a, a, a Star Wars logo, right? Like, <laughs> I'm not crazy. It does sort of kind of look like that. Okay, where are we now? Well, moon shoes go. Anders message. Uh, you know what? It reminds me. I never did look at that journal. I retrieved his journal. Cool. I bet it just says shit's hella trapped, dude. Dude, bro. And then what was Anders message? can't believe it. I came all this way, solved all those ridiculous riddles, and ended up down here. After I memorized his clues he'd collected from the thing, I slit his throat. <laughs> now I guess the joke's on me because I'm stuck down here and I don't see a way out. Hope someone comes by soon. I'm getting hungry. Uh, okay. Well, fuck me. Maybe if I just run around. Whoa, what the fuck? Just 
Skeleton key? Did you find some? Oh, shit. Okay, I guess having the skeleton key... Replace skeleton key. Yo, what the fuck? Hello. What indeed? Ah, uh, damn. Once again, the key has been stolen, and a champion returns it to the sepulchre. Now that the Ebonmere has been restored, you stand before me, awaiting your accolades. A pat on your head, a kiss on your cheek. What you fail to realize is your actions were expected, and represent nothing more than the fulfillment of your agreement. I get to look at those toes for free, though. I bid you to drink deeply from the Evanmere mortal, for this is where the agent of Nocturnal is born. I have the to drink from that? Struck, the die has been cast, and your fate awaits you in the Everglow. Farewell, Mr. Boy. See to you stay this time, won't you? Speak to Carlia. How the hell did you beat me here? Uh, she's the oldest Daedra known as the Mistress of Mysteries, an unfathomable and lady of luck. Uh, pray to remove bounties for lesser crimes. Pickpocket mysterious coin purses. Pick locks successfully. Pray and only at night, preferably in darkness. Those skilled in sneak are most deserving of her favor. Let's hold off right now. I'm glad you were able to bring the key back safely. Nocturnal seemed quite pleased with your efforts. Pleased? She sounded indifferent. I wouldn't take that to heart. It's her way. Think of her as a scolding mother continually pushing you harder to be successful, outwardly sounding angry, but silently content. I assure you, had she been displeased with you, we wouldn't be having this conversation. What's this about becoming an agent of Nocturnal? The circles at the base of the Ebonmere imbue you with powers befitting a Nightingale agent. The Crescent Moon represents the agent of stealth, the Half Moon for the agent of subterfuge, and the Full Moon for the agent of strife. Why can't I be all three? This is Nocturnal's way of maintaining balance. If you ever feel the need to change your abilities, you can return to the Sepulchre and step onto a different circle. Be warned that once you've chosen, you can't reselect for at least a day. So what now? Now, your life as a nightingale begins. Should the need arise, you'll be summoned to the sepulchre in order to defend it. Like raids? And you? The guild has welcomed me back with open arms. I feel like a void in my life has finally been filled. I only hope that this isn't an ending to things, but actually the beginning. The beginning of what? Why, perhaps the greatest crime spree Skyrim's ever known. There are pockets brimming with coin and coffers overflowing with riches ripe for the picking. We may be nightingales, but in our hearts we're still thieves. And we're damn good at what we do. Eh, speak for yourself. Uh, tell me about the Agent of Stealth. The Agent of Stealth is the master of remaining unseen. They are able to manipulate the darkness and use it to their advantage. On moonlit nights or in darkened rooms, this agent literally becomes invisible. Damn, that's pretty good. What about subterfuge? Agent subterfuge utilizes shadow to cloud the judgment of those around him. By weaving the darkness to their will, this agent can manipulate others into fighting for the Nightingale for a limited time. Okay, doesn't sound too good. About the strife. The agent of strife can send forth a tendril of pure darkness into the heart of another, 
causing great injury to them. At the same time, this tether will bolster the agent's own life force, making him stronger. I think I'm gonna go with Strife. Path, and your journey will be complete. That was the full moon, right? Darkness Rituals. Did that give me... <gasps> Did I get the power? Hold on. Was that... Yeah, Nightingale Strife. Instantly absorb 110 points of health from the target. Now, that's pretty good. But is it better than 30 seconds of no magic cost? I wonder if I can switch them and use them independently. I was afraid you'd become like if I use one, I can go use the other two. Or if they share a cooldown. Your fears would have come true. He honors us all. What will you do now, my love? Nocturnal calls me to the Everglow. My contract has been fulfilled. Will I ever see you again? When your debt to Nocturnal has been paid, we'll embrace once again. Oh well, Gallus. Eyes open. Walk with the shadows. Goodbye, Carlyle. Aw, what a happy reunion. And then he goes, wasn't I supposed to drink this? Oh, well. Yes, Nightingale. What is it? Where did Dal Gallus go? Gallus's oath has been paid. His actions have satisfied the terms. Now his spirit becomes one with the Everglow, the realm of perpetual twilight and the cradle of shadow. So he's gone. <laughs> no, not gone. He's become one with the shadows. This is the greatest honor a Nightingale can possibly achieve. In death, he's become a part of that which we use to live. So they're a, they're a part of the darkness around us? Absolutely. When we say, walk with the shadows, we are asking those Nightingales who have passed on to protect us. It's believed that they are literally what guides our uncanny luck by placing their hands in ours. That's why the Ebonmere needed to be reopened. Without it, there's no way Nocturnal was able to allow them through. Interesting. Okay. Farewell. Eyes open and walk with the shadows. Walk with the shadows. Portal to the entrance. Portal to the entrance. Portal to the entrance, I bet. Okay. Cool. Uh-oh. I think I dropped through the floor there for a second. Okay, this should go back to Skyrim, right? Yeah. Hi, Cat Vegetable. You're the only one waiting for me out here. Oh, no. That's the other two. Wait, did the... Did D, like, actually die? I remember someone pointed out that he got hit with a fireball, but... I, I didn't know if he actually died, died. I thought he was immortal like the rest of my companions. Well, fuck. Don't know how that happened. But anyway. Uh, where to next? Now, uh, someone did point out that uh, doing Thieves Guild side quests also increases the guild. Like, it ups their, like, their stuff. So I'm thinking we go back and do some thieves quests. Let's go back to the guild. Let me see. Yeah, I think he's actually gone. That's super sad and sucks. I didn't realize I killed him. I thought I made it in the, uh, the mod menu that uh, my followers were invincible, but I guess I was wrong. And I just happened to not kill him that entire time, which is actually impressive for me this one i gotta figure out what to do i'm probably gonna have to look up the item code for that to get away inspect dragon's reach dungeon okay that's not what i need right now 
Visit the fish fishery. Actually, what is this? Angler's acquaintances. Experienced fishermen. Uh, I should speak to them to find out how my help. You know what? Let's go fishing. Screw it. Imperial dogs. There is nothing that's too low for them. Well, for now, it says to go back inside, but I don't think that's correct. I think we're supposed to go to the fishery, which is on the other side. I'm just jumping like it's oblivion. Yeah, here's... Uh, oh, well. Okay. Don't need that. Thank you, guy. There is someone actually here outside at this time of night. Okay. Let's see here. Who is out here? Hello. Where is that fisherman? Maybe I should make the trip myself. What's wrong? Do you like mud crabs? Never mind. I've already written everything down in this note. It will speak for my dilemma better. In a pinch. Okay. Read bounty. Juvenile mud crab. Okay, is this just like a hunting thing? In a pinch, I get it, because it's a mud crab. Very funny. She handed me a bounty reader. I should read what it says. Okay. Bounty mud crab. Uh, speak to her over taking the bounty over. Okay. Mud crabs are fascinating creatures, don't you think? Yes, very much. Thank you. Uh, I see you hired someone to catch a juvenile mud crab, but they never they returned. They probably think it's a waste of time. I was hoping the people here would share my interest. I wouldn't mind taking over the bounty. Thanks. Good luck out there. You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. What? What fucking lexicon? What are you talking about? Who the hell are you? From deepest fathoms? You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. Lexicon burden? What are you talking about? The memories. I cannot stand them. You must take them away. Return them to a Munchen Zell. You a must whoa -whoa? take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. Okay. You must bring it to a Munchenzel in the West. Return it to them. It must go back. It is done. I won't go back to a Munchenzel. I won't. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> so many things are popping up on my fucking thing right now. A disturbed Argonian named From Darkest Fathoms was wandering the rift in dock. She insisted I take the lexicon. She gave me to the area west of the lake and return it to Aventusil. Now, where the fuck is that? Ah, it's there. Okay, what about... What about the mud crab? Uh, I need to go to J in a pinch. Obtain a mud crab. West of Broken Fan Cave. Okay, that's like actually. I don't know where Broken Fan Cave is. Weird. Well, we got the lexicon. I never did check out the Shadow Stone right here. Interesting. And she's gone. I could have left it behind. I could have put it back where it came from. Okay, well, maybe I'll do that next. Hello, duck. What a good duck. I love you, duck. Anyway. Let's see if these fish are needed. Doesn't look like it. I think I have them all. 
Okay. Well, I think I'm going to call it there. We are full agents of Nightingale now, or agents of Nocturnal, or Nightingales. Uh, D is gone and dead. Uh, I think maybe I could probably be talked out of it, but I might revive him and bring him back because he was a good shit talker. But maybe that's why the game didn't crash this time is because I had one less person fucking follow me around doing shit. But that makes sense. I'm going to call it there, though. <laughs> I know, I will. I will go back. Don't worry. I'll take the lexicon. Jesus Christ. I'll see you in the next one.